Being a gay man in America to me is um, a privileged life because uh, if you compare it to some other places, um, there's a lot of challenges. Um, you know, very conservative societies. And ours may appear conservative, but really, uh, we have it better than most places. Um, yes, it's an issue, but it's only an issue to the news media. It, in my personal life, in my personal life, it's not a, not a big issue. Um, in my friend. <laughs> Now, do you guys consider yourselves a interracial couple? I mean, I don't really pay attention to that fact, but I am white, but she's biracial. Rosie, you're biracial, one parent. Yeah, my mother is uh, Italian and my dad's black. And your dad's black. Mm -hmm. So how do you identify yourself ethnically, or do you? Biracial, I mean, you know, the. The thing that's kind of always bothered me is that if you look at me, my skin's brown. <laughs> so, you know, you you might just assume that I'm just black. Right. And give no validity to what my mother's, you know, ethnicity is. But if you meet my mother and you look at us, we, we look alike. I mean, we look alike, you know? We, uh -huh. We're built differently, but in our faces, we look very much the same. So, okay. yeah. I just say biracial. Biracial. So ultimately, you guys don't allow... Um, sort of race to play into the, your relationship or how you raise your girls? Yeah. No, not at all. Not at all. Have, My children are Oh, are they? Yes. So have you always sort of, um, have you always dated black men and black women or have you ever sort of dated? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you, so you, I've never dated or not dated, you know, <laughs> you've never dated white. You've never dated. <laughs> you've never dated white women or white no, men. No, never. 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 And Rosie, never. Rosie, have you ever dated a black woman? No. You've never dated a black woman. How? No, I mean, okay. you know what? I've never. Just how? I've never happened. I've never <laughs> been in a relationship with a black woman with black men. Yeah. Yeah. I've never because I always feel like the white guy or the Asian guy, they're always gonna feel like they're better than the black guy. Just because of how society is, even though we have a black president, they still feel like <laughs> they're like top dog and we're like right here. Even though in reality, they're like right here and <laughs> we're like right here. Do you feel that then a black man and a white man in this gay community or a black man and an Asian man in the white community in the gay community can have a healthy um, friendship? Um, yeah, I really believe that they can have a healthy friendship, but I mean, as far as like a romantic relationship or a sexual relationship is always going to be white, then black, and then Latino, and then Asian, like that. Well, that's for the black, for most of the black people that I know. For white people, it's more like, you no know, white, Latino, Asian, then black. Alright, and I'll go to white go to a white bar on Fridays at Grand Central. It's like 98% white. I'm like one of the only black people that go there. And most white guys, they'll buy you drinks and they want to have sex with you. And how has that made you feel over the um, years interacting with them? Like, it's still, <laughs> they feel like they're inferior to you. No, they're better than you for the most part. Mm -hmm. Like, they could just buy you a drink and hook up. And black men. And the first young man I experimented with, he, he was black. So. so, the majority of your life in the gay community, have the majority of your friends been of Hispanic and Puerto Rican descent or black? Puerto Rican descent and black. So, the majority of your friends are now mm -hmm. black. And why is that? <sighs> I just relate more with them, I guess. You relate more with black yes. men? Than Puerto Rican men. And, and that's just, it's just, I've just always been like that. I mean, even in, but in high school, I had Puerto Rican friends. Okay. Some black friends, but when I came out of high school, the most part of my friends were black and gay. But what's the main difference as you see it and as you experienced it, the main difference between black gay men and Puerto Rican gay men? 
or is there really a difference? I mean, there is a difference. It depends. I mean, depends where you grew up too. I mean, I grew up in the Bronx. You had your Puerto Ricans that were just real Spanish, you know, cha-cha, what they would call it, cha-cha, you know what I mean? Cha-cha is slang for... Just... I can't even describe it. Okay. I don't want to offend anybody. It's just no, real, put it out there. You know, just flat, flamboyant, gay, but you're Spanish, but okay. right off the boat, that, that appeal. Okay. And then you have the Puerto Ricans that just relate more to black people. And are more in that... Well, let me ask you, when you were growing up and as you began to spend more time with black men, did your Puerto Rican friends or Puerto Rican, other Puerto Rican gay men judge you for spending mm, more not time? Not really. I only got like, like weird comments. Like what? When they found out when I was like dating black men. Okay. Where I was attracted to. So it was fun for you to hang out with black gay yes. men, but once you started dating black gay yeah, men. Yeah, I started questioning it. Or and I had this one guy say, um, you know, who, who you're dating, and this is current. Okay. An employee, fellow employee. Okay. And I showed him pictures. And he was like, oh, he's black? I was like, yeah, he was like, ill. And this is another Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican gay and man. And I was like, what you mean, ill? You know, he was, oh, you know, he just was like, oh, I didn't mean to say that way, but you know, I just, I'm not into black guys. But he was surprised that I was into black guys, you know? And it's like 2008, 2009. Yeah. Why are you surprised? Is it a foreign notion it's still in the in the Hispanic or Puerto Rican gay community to date black men or to date Asian or white men? Have you ever dated an Asian or white man? No. 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 Because you've never sort of been exposed to them or no, I've been exposed to them. I lived in California for a while. Okay. Seven years. So you live in California so for I was seven exposed years. Exposed to that too, but it was just not it was just not my time. You have um, had a, a casual, intimate relationship with a white guy in the past. Um, what was the result of, of that interaction or that relationship? Um, I, I think we was different, just totally different in, um, in the way we act, maybe the way we talk, the things we were interested in. Um, and far as sexually, uh, I don't think that uh, because of the mental connection wasn't there, the sexual connection wasn't there either. So um, it really didn't go anywhere. It was like a, you know, uh, okay, meet you, or get to know you, and then a little meeting, and it wasn't really nothing past anything past that. Yeah. How do your parents sort of, um, or how would your parents feel if you were to bring? a woman of another ethnicity home. Is that sort of a taboo, you know, in the Filipino community to date outside of of their race? Um, they wouldn't completely disapprove, but they'd probably prefer me to bring home another Filipino. And what about your Filipino friends? How have they treated you, if at all different, when you were dating white women or black women, or did they know? Um, they didn't treat me any different. No? I um, I recently read a quote that said, there's nothing that can't be done if we raise our voice as one. And I find that to be so poignant and, and so true, you know? There's nothing that can't be done if we raise our voice as one. There's, there's so much truth in that. Thank you.